I hope your midsection is ready because we've got trampoline, core, and abs. This workout is gonna focus on that midsection. We're gonna be working that rectus abdominis, the transverse, the obliques, and your low back today. We will use the trampoline for cardio moves to warm you up and get that midsection ready to go. And then we're gonna break it down into two blocks of work, six movements, 40 seconds of full out effort with a 15 second break for two rounds. The first section, we're gonna include one dumbbell or if you need to, you can use two. The second section is gonna use ankle weights, which are totally optional, but it does help you to level up this workout. And we're gonna finish this off with using the ankle weights for one last cardio section. Equipment needed is dumbbells. You could use one or two. I'm gonna be using a 12 and a half dumbbell ankle weights, which is optional. Ours are weighing in between two to three pounds, a trampoline, rebounder, and your amazing body. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. And if you want more content, I know you do, make sure you click on that join button below. You can have access to over 200 additional workouts, live workouts, and help me create workouts. Roll your shoulders back, and we're gonna start the warm up on the ground. How are you feeling today? Big inhale, reach it up, elbows pull back, round down, and roll it up. Do that one more time. Big inhale, reach it up, elbows back, round it down, roll it up. We're gonna squat down, rise it up. Warm up those joints before we start jumping on that trampoline. You got four more. And then it's gonna be a double lateral lunge to your right. Open up the feet. Right side two. Just shift it to that left. Get those ankles nice and warm to the right. Bend and push. One more time. And then it's gonna be a crescent knee. Step in, right knee. Take it up and around switch. Open up those hips and get the abs engaged here. And then we're going to do a little flat back. Good morning with a knee twist. Open the feet, drop chest, and then right knee up. Knee twist. Good morning. Drop the head down, pushing the butt back and knee comes up. Inhale. Exhale. Gonna do four more of these. So this is so great to really warm up that low back. Two more. All right, you guys, enough time here. Let's get on top, step on, and start to shake out your hips a little bit here. We do have a killer vibe. How about you at home? All right, we're gonna hit that basic, push down through the feet. Keep the knees, have a little bend in them. In, out, take it in, reach it up. All right, back to your basic. Just get nice and warm here. I want you to be bracing your core throughout the entire jump here. Down, right knee. So bounce first, down, knee. All right, back to that basic. We're gonna do one more song, staying in the warm up mode. Out two, in two, and two jacks. Now, start to really push through those feet. Think about the down bounce. Single knee, right, left. Now a double knee, hold here for two. Again, single, single, double. 
You're going to see this throughout the workout. Push it down. Heel, right, left. Open up the chest. Now scissor. Four, three, two, one. Heel. Open and close that chest. Basic bounce. Clear your mind, right? Pump it up just a little bit more. Hold it in that basic. Out two, in two. Jack two. Knees, single, single, double. Push it down. Longer arms this time. Feel that, crunch it down. Heel, right, left. Scissor, open and close the chest if you can. Heel. Basic. All right, we're going through it again. Give me a little bit more here. Out two, in two. Single. Knees up, single, single, double. Heel. Fly, scissor, do it again, come on. Out two, in two. Single. One more of those. Knee. Single, single, double. Heel, right, left, scissor. Basic. Oh, how you feeling though? I think we're warmed up now, right? Pop it up, come on. Nice job. We're gonna be using weights now for this block. My lowest is eight, my highest is 12 and a half, and I'm grabbing that now. I'm gonna be using a 12 and a half pound weight. You're gonna be on the right side of your trampoline. You're gonna squat down, twist, outside knee up, and then side kick to the inside of the trampoline. Weight is up, you're gonna drop and then twist to that outside leg on your right. Knee, and then kick. Now, this is not about going to the beat. This is about just working hard. The kick can be even a tap if you need to. We're working on those obliques here. And option two, do it on the floor if you feel a little bit unsafe. Right, take your time, walk it over to the other side. Or you could dance it over to the other side, right? Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna be dropping, twisting, and then to that side kick. So left leg is gonna go first. Twist, kick. Use that breath to your advantage. Exhale as you twist to that knee. You kind of brace when you kick. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. I don't care if you think I'm stuck up. I don't care because you can't call my blood. I don't care if you think I'm a clown. I don't care because you can't pin me down. You can't pin me down. 
next move on your back, still using a dumbbell. I'm gonna keep this weight. You're gonna reach that weight back and then hug knee in and then switch. Feet on the floor. Weight comes up, front knee comes in. Reach back and switch knees. You bring yourself up, you bring yourself down. Yeah, we can't pin you down, right? So keep it moving. Keep those arms kind of fixed because sometimes they want to whip you up. When you take it back, don't go too far back with the weight. Keep the core engaged. We're staying on our back here. Legs come up, weight's gonna reach back. And then you're gonna angle the legs about 45 and start to flutter them. Head can relax back. And if you wanna move the flutter, you can move the flutter. I'm gonna stay about a 45 degree angle. Arms are reaching slightly back. Pull into that waist. Let your breath just flow. Maybe you flutter a little bit faster. I know you like the rhythm, right? We're gonna flip this. We're gonna come into mountain climbers, rock it up. No weight. We're gonna do a slow mountain climber, so don't rush this one here. Hands can be on the frame of your trampoline. So slow mountain climbers. Front knee comes in and switch. We'll keep this one to the beat, how about that? In and switch. Here's that exhale as you draw the knee in. And I want your eye guys looking out toward the front of your trampoline so that your neck stays long. This is a good rhythm because it's going to force you to just slow things down a little bit here. In and pause, right? Are you keeping it slow with us? Grab that weight again. We're going to drop the legs and then as they come up, we're going to reach that dumbbell to the toes. So legs will drop first, then you're going to crunch up to the feet. Leg drop, legs up, crunch to the toes. The trampoline can help you to get just a little bit higher in that crunch to the feet. Great job, we're gonna start back at the top. So if you need a heavier weight, grab it. We're gonna come to the right side of your trampoline. We're gonna squat down, twist to the knee on the outside. Kick to the inside, weight is up. Drop, twist, kick. You're in control of that body movement. So don't go too fast, especially on the down. Maybe you're gonna get that kick up a little bit higher. Feel that oblique engage. Great job, move it to the other side. Compound movement gets that heart rate up. All right, we're twisting to the outside, peeing inside. And 
let your breath flow. Exhale as you take the knee out. And then as you kick, you're bracing the core. your back dumbbell knee hug reach it back and then knee comes in hug it in inhales it lowers back exhales the knee comes in Arms are staying fixed. They have a little bend in the elbows. It reaches just back beyond the head, and then I hug that knee in. Flutter, staying on your back. Weight will be slightly angled. The legs are extended out about 45 degree. Pull into that core. Option if you want, head can be up. If your head is up, you're looking at your thighs. All right, let's go a little faster in that flutter. Get it about 45, drop it. All right, let's climb that mountain. Woo. Hands on your frame. We'll do a one, two, one, two, three, hold. How about that? Front knee comes first. We go here. One, two, hold. See how tempo change just makes it feel different. Look out in front of that trampoline. Come on. Good, right? You feel it? Oh, yeah. Come on, drive it in. All right, we got one move here. Leg drop, toe touch with dumbbell. Lower lift the legs and then reach for the toes with that crunch. Your dumbbell can go anywhere you want it to, so if you want it back a little bit, a little pull over is great. Break. So we're going to do some water here. Put your ankle weights on, and then we're going to come back. So this next block is all using ankle weights. The first one is going to be high knees, and you can go at your own pace. So if you feel like you need to go slow today, you go a little slower, or you can go fast too. We're weighing in about two to three pounds on the ankle weights. And we do use the sport here. That is in the description box, so if you want to check it out. They're great because they stay in place when we're jumping. And a great at-home tool to have, too, is the ankle weights. We use them often. Okay, we're 
we're gonna get on top of that trampoline. We got high knees. Is everybody ready to go? You at home, are you ready? Are you on that trampoline? Okay, high knees is the first movement. We're strapped in. You can get those legs ready to go. High knees. Now, you can be on the beat or you can be off the beat, but knees drive up towards the chest. Push through the whole foot as it goes down into the trampoline. Pull in to your body. Get them up as high as you can. And if it's your first time putting them on the trampoline, you're gonna be like, whoa, right? Bicycle, come on your back. Knees into the chest and then we rotate to that front knee and then to the back knee. Head up, hands behind head. Rotate to the front and to the back. With this one, you just gotta keep that core engaged the whole time. Try to get up and into that inside knee. Now, remember, the ankle weights are optional. You do not have to use these, so if they feel like they're too much, work your way up to it. Forearm plank, arm leg lift. Flip it, watch your neighbor here. Or just leg lift. So we're gonna do opposite reach of arm and leg, and you hold it for about a one, two, three. Open your feet up, leg and then arm. Whoa, 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 right? And switch. So don't go too quick on this one. Hold it, and then you switch. Good to add a little bit of something unstable, especially with those ankle weights on. Flip it, back on the trampoline. Front leg will drop with the back arm. Arms are gonna be up. Front leg, back arm. And then switch that. Everything is up. Front leg, back arm. And switch. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, it's up. Plus you get a little quad work today too. <laughs> Make sure you're pulling up and in when you bring that leg and arm back to center. Stand up, come to the right side of your trampoline. You got one knee on that side. One knee, one knee, one side left. We're gonna try to balance. One knee, ooh, one side left. Or you can just keep it at the side. That twist. Oh my gosh, balance, right? So if you feel unstable, right? I'm feeling unstable. You can come right to the floor. That would totally work. I actually feel better when I'm on the floor. Maybe second round, we'll all come to the floor so you can get that range of motion. All right, let's try the other side. Did you feel unstable or stable? You just gotta check yourself out. Stability also comes from your core, which is obviously your midsection. Find balance first. Do that knee up. Side lift. Ooh. And for 
your ankle. Oh my gosh, right? Or if you need to, your balance is a little off, right? Arms can be wider, that helps you out. You fall, you fall with grace. You don't fall and hurt yourself. Nice job. We're gonna start from the top. We got high knees. So when we come to that next, those last moves, we'll stay on the ground. Second round. Okay, you guys ready? Second round, give me a little bit more. High knees. So stand tall, push through the whole foot. faster, maybe a little bit smaller. Try that. Come on, you can try it. Different, right? It feels different than the other move. I feel like flash dance, don't you? On your back bicycle. your knees into the chest, we're rotating to the back, and then the front, back knee will come in, rotate to it, front knee, we got that beat, how about you, can you try to tap the inside of the knee with your elbow, Flip, rock it up, arm leg reach. These moves really are important because they go deep into your core. So reaching front arm, lifting back leg, holding it. And you switch. Long and strong, reach and lift. Arm reaches by your ear. Great job, flip it, dead bug. The legs are up at 90, arms are reaching up. Drop front leg, back arm, and switch. Pause at the bottom, really engage your transverse abdominal. That pulls you in. We need that baby strong for posture. Up. Let's stay on the ground this time. Come to the right side. Right knee with a twist will stay on the ground this time so you feel the difference. Hands are going to be behind the head. Knee, side leg lift. And then you can determine when you come back to the workout where you want to be with this movement, either on the trampoline or off the trampoline. If you feel like you get more with one or the other, then do that. You still get balanced because you are on one foot. So 
super job. What's the verdict? Did you like it standing or on the trampoline? I think standing, that was the verdict here. Whew, other side. Hands behind the head. Twist to that knee and then lift it out to the side. I definitely feel like I'm getting more oblique. Because I'm not too worried about falling off the trampoline, right? And then if you're at home, you could always do a lot of this. Barefoot would totally work. Super job. All right, here's where we're gonna go with this. You're gonna get a sip of water. Optional to keep those ankle weights on or take them off, because we're gonna do about five and a half minutes of some deeper core work using the ankle weights on top of your trampoline. You guys ready to go? You guys ready to go? All right. Basic bounce. It's not about being big in the jump here. All you gotta do is control the bounce with your core, your abs, your glutes. Jack, single, single, double. You could clap. Front kick, right, left, and then jack for two. Front kick, pull it down. Jack, push. I'm gonna push forward and then push up. How about you? One more of these, slicing that right knee eight times, right here, eight. Left knee. Four more. Rock the horse. Knee, heel, turn, go. Knee, heel, turn. Two, and switch. Knee, ankle, knee, ankle. Now, knee, kick. Other side. Knee, ankle, knee, kick. Reach down, push it out. Double scissor, two front. Yeah. Stay low. Athletic arms. We're gonna ski. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Push your hip out. We got a kick, single, single, double. Kick, single, single, double. Anything with your arms. Jack, single, single, double. Two more. Front kick, right, left. Jack two. Kick. One more of these. Slice, right knee, eight. Longer arms, right? Switch that. We're gonna rock the horse. Knee up, heel back. Eight, seven, stay here. Four, three, two, turn, switch. You can fly arms. Knee ankle, go. 
knee kick. Switch that. Do it again. Scissor, double. Ski, single, single, double. Kick, single, single, double. More sprint here. Basic bounce, push it down. Jack, single, single. Double out. One more. Front kicks, right, left. Jack up. Kick again. Slice four, right. Switch. Rock that horse. Come on. Four. Switch that. Knee, ankle. Knee, kick. Other side. Scissor. Doubles. You're going to ski. Single, single, double. Lift those kicks. Single, single, double. Jack out, in, push it up. Round arms. Come on, big arms. Your entire body's working right here. Nice job. Woo. How'd that feel? Okay, a little joyful jump. Tempo down. More, a little bit more lift. Oh, you did amazing. Oh. And just so you know, we do jump on the big trampolines. These are our Jump Sport 44 inch. I'm on the 550 Pro white frame. My girls, they are on the 570 Pro. They have the pedal on the top. Mine is not the pedal, right? That's the difference here. All right. Can you find a little rhythm? A little bend in the knees. Oh yeah. All that information is in the description box. Inhale, reach it up. This time, front to back. I like to do pendulums. It's gonna be a little harder. You got those ankle weights on. Right, left, reach out. Oh yeah. Chin is up. Be proud of yourself. Basic. Circle up and back. Reverse it. Right knee, twist. I'm gonna do a little punch. And switch, slow it down. Up, drop, up. Two right. Single out. Eight more. A little more in control when we slow it down, right? Basic, circle back. Legs in, out, reach up, down. Big jack arms. Palms up, palms down. A 
about you stop halfway? Yeah. Hold it narrow. Pop the knees up a little bit. your basic. Slow it down a little bit lower. Not so high. Shake your hips. Single, single, double. Single, double. Single out. Just single out. Come on. A little sass in your hips, please. Doubles only. Doubles. Singles only. This is single ones in here. Nobody. We're doubles. All right. Low hold. Nice job. Go ahead and take off those ankle weights and let's stretch things out. Never lie. Never lie. So much easier to take them off than put them on, right? How's your body feel? That's a great workout to include weekly, maybe twice a week, or sections of it that you really enjoyed. Whew. Come to the back of your trampoline. Let's start with the lunge so we can open up the hip flexors. Right foot on top, left leg is back straight. Push your heel back. Reaching up left arm. Pushing the chest away from the thigh. If you have the ability, maybe your hand goes to the side frame. Side stretch. Pull back, hamstring. Maybe you pull your toes back too. Sometimes those feet get a little bit tense and tight and so do your calves from jumping. All right, step back off and then switch legs. Lunge. Oh, that leg is straight back behind you. Reaching up right arm, pushing the hips forward, opening up your chest. That should feel good, right? And then if you have that ability or mobility too, is just side stretch, hand on the side of the frame. Toes up, hamstring stretch, drop the chest. Again, pull the toes back a little bit more. Stretch out the foot. And then step off the back. Open those feet out, sumo squat, push the knees out. So the hips are really involved a lot when we do core. So you want to keep them stretched out. Even the jumping too can put some of that tension inside the hips. So keep them loose. Try to drop your butt down. And other ways too is just to, you could have an anchor, but just don't pull your trampoline off and hit you in the face, right? Woo. Safety first. All right, straighten it out. Either hands to the floor or the back of your trampoline. And then forearms on the trampoline, step it back. Let your hips sink a little bit and then push the hips up. Walk the feet in maybe a little bit, press the heels back. And then again, let the hips drop a little bit. And then push it up. And let's do one more hips drop. Push it up. Tuck your tailbone a little bit there when you're in that little dolphin position here. Walk the heels up and down. And then we're gonna walk it in, come to the hands, bend the knees, roll yourself up. Give yourself some back extension. So we need to do a little bit backward extension and let it go. How do you feel? Feel good? Inhale, reach it up. 
reach it back. Pull it into your heart. Touch that skin. Feel your heart beating. It's keeping you alive. Be grateful to this body because look at what it's doing for you. Big inhale. Let it out. Oh my gosh, yay for you. You gotta celebrate those wins, you guys, because you are the one that's gonna be pushing yourself forward. Nobody else does this but you. You do this for you. That's why these guys are here. Thank you, Jen. Woo, thank you, Diane. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Carol. And in the back, thank you, Liza. Thank you guys. If you enjoyed the workout, thumb it up, comment below. Hey, check it out. If you have one of those trampolines that's not working as well as what you see us doing, you gotta check out the Jump Sport. Again, these are the 550 and 570. These are the big ones, they're 44 inches. There is a 39 inch, but if you want to, if you have the space, we all highly suggest the bigger ones are definitely worth it if you can invest into yourself because you are so worth it. We will see you at the next workout. Take care, guys.